Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Frasson Kajin Cosplay and today we are watching something special mm. for you guys. A little extra scene from Death Note, Elle's funeral. A lot of yeah. you guys have been talking about this and the, you've been asking of us to react to this. So now that we're done with the show, we're gonna react to this scene before we move on to the new show that we've been getting ready behind the scenes. So yeah, I mean, no no need for an introduction to this. Uh, you all know what it's about. It's about Elle's funeral, I guess. So. <laughs> Let's I wonder what they didn't put in the show, to be honest. It's director's cut, so they didn't have any time for it, so they have to take it, up, take it out. I don't know. But let's jump into this and see what it's about. I can replace it in the episode. I was already crying. <laughs> I like that even Matsuda was like crying a little bit. Well, he was part of the game. Still a kid of 25 years old. Well, you are gonna avenge him, just not you. <laughs> Because he made mistakes. He got too confident. I swear if he starts laughing or smiling. It's weird seeing them now that I know how it ends. With Matsuda and stuff. Holy shit. Okay, dude. Yep. I prefer this. <laughs> Bring the chips. And then he starts doing. Oh, 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 oh. Every time we do a montage like this, I'm freaking out. Oh my god, this is so freaking cool! Oh, I've got chills. <laughs> that last shot was amazing! Oh, it's not over. Oh. 
の時のお前は神なんかじゃなかったあれはむしろ言ったか見るがいいさ運がよけやとんでもねえやつがノートを拾って一生忘れられねえ面白いもん見れるだろうよそうだろうなあナイトおしっウェイウェイウェイ Is he talking to him like Because he's now in this world, so he can become a Shinigami himself or something? I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never seen that scene before. <laughs> Just the funeral part. <laughs> But I like, was it supposed, I think we were supposed to see the funeral during the episode with L when he dies. But that little cutscene at the end, I think, I don't know, we, we, weren't, we weren't supposed to see this mid season, so it's a bit of a. Like the last episode, it's a cut. It's a cutscene from the last episode, I guess. And、um, in that episode, we learned that whenever we die, everyone goes to nothingness. You know, they they all go to the same place, whether you use the death note or not. And、um, you see that Shinigami walking down and going to the real world, and I'm like, did that Shinigami used to be light? That would make a lot of sense. They are in the nothing, basically, and then. Holy shit, which well, means that、I've, if. Have you seen Ryuk's appearance though? It was all color faded out. He didn't, didn't have any more eyes too.、Mm, yeah, but、uh, I mean, he lost his、uh, entertainment. <laughs> he doesn't have anything to do with it. When、anymore. you're bored, you get dull color. That's what happened. Yeah, but I mean, what, what, would, what were you aiming at here? Like, no, just. Ryuk seemed hot, hot to me. Odd? Yeah, well. It's after Light's death, so I don't know. I think I, I, Light might have become that new Shinigami we saw, but I mean, he doesn't remember ever being Light, but Ryuk knows it. He's talking to him and stuff. He did call him Light, and I'm like, that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> Which is crazy because it means that eventually, at the end of the day, he did become a god. Oh my god, the irony in that <sighs> quote, just、It's, like there. And it's crazy, like, I would, I would have been, ex well, not expected, but I would have、uh, almost imagined him sad at the funeral for, for L. He, of course, like, he's laughing like crazy and he's really happy because his goal is going to be more easy to atta attain now, now that L is gone. But、um, we did notice after that episode several times that not only did he, I, th I think deep down, did he miss L? But he got a bit sad too that he had to take him out because he was enjoying his、uh, companionship a lot. And、um, he was enjoying more the challenge, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, their personalities fit well together, I feel like. Because when he was not <laughs> Kira, <laughs> when he was not Kira, the two were, were hanging out and being okay. Like, L did say he was his friend and Light said the same. And I think deep down, they could have been best friends if they had not been so damaged. And. <laughs> And bent on on craziness like light, but um, it's I, I would have imagined that he was a bit sad during the funeral. So to see him laugh again like crazy, I'm a bit disappointed in the character. I'm like, dude, you could have at least, sure, I don't know, bent, I guess, <laughs> yeah, like he's standing on the grave, he's like bending over and like, like all a, twisted a up. This man is completely sure that he won the game, that no one ever is gonna. Be in his way because、yeah. who, could be, who could be better than hell? I feel I like with him being able to kill people so easily now, death has a totally other meaning to light. So he's not sad when someone he knows dies, he sees this as a game. So he's beaten you. It's not I've erased you from existence, it's I just I beat you. I won. It's as simple as that. He doesn't see death. As such a tragedy, because、uh, he's, he's master of death now. He can cast death upon anyone he wishes to. And、uh, cast de death. Death. <laughs> death. So what, I mean, what I mean by that is, I think in his mind, the, signific the signification of death is different. It's, 
It's not something so terrible now because he's in control of it. You know? Yeah. You know, when we don't understand death, when we're not in control of death, and, and death happens, like someone we love dies, we're, we're terrified, we're, we're grieving, we're really sad. Like, we feel these emotions, but light is detached from death because he's the one who kills the others, you know? He's so in control that he feels that he is this god of death, like this god of this new world. I don't think he thinks death can even affect him. So when someone he knows dies, even when uh, his dad died and stuff, it, he's not sad because death is not something he doesn't understand. It's not something he doesn't have any it's control over. Fears. It, it's a choice for him. Well, he did fear it at the end of it when he was... Yeah, when it happens to him. Because yeah. just like, um, well, I mean... Uh, Non, not us, but people in the show, like, they see him lose it suddenly, and he was seen as this god, and now he's not. It's the realization that he never was god, never. He's just as human as everyone he's killed, and so he freaked out, but before that, he thought he was god, so... To see yeah. people die around him, it's a choice, it's not a fatality. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, he's a crazy character, but I think, love it! Do you think he did a good shows by not putting that thing in the I feel like one of the uh, one of the episodes there were a few things I really enjoyed especially that last shot with him like having two faces like the reflection mm -hmm. in him but it does sound but not sound but it looks a lot like what we got with him on top of the building doing his symphony and uh, killing people left and right that's what the better way for the the killing spree the symphony um, on the on the rooftop the rain <laughs> And Actually, night, I would have missed. one is uh, walk on the street with people uh, tumbling from buildings. I would have preferred uh, to mix the fun. two. Like I would have kept the funeral, but I, uh, instead of him walking down the street and having people die, I think that it was more dramatic with him on top of the building doing the symphony. So that was awesome. That last scene with uh, like being a shinigami, maybe it's ambigu ambiguous, but I think it would have been too much to add it at the end of the episode the last one, so I'm glad we didn't get it. I'm happy to see it well, now. if they had it in one of, in one of the final cutscenes, people would have bring up so much question, is does light die? Because if it is light, what would happen? We wouldn't have the big surprise at the end of the series, technically. It's like opening the door to a new tragedy in the future. Like, he's basically gonna do what Ryuk did. Going to the into the world, maybe loses Death Note, maybe create a new Kira, you know, stuff like that. It's uh, it's an oh, open end, but childhood memories. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he remembers ever being light, but um, I feel like it's better not to put that scene in and keep it the way it was, with light just fading out, fading out, watching, you know, L watching him and uh, him just closing his eyes, Nisa killing herself. It was bittersweet. It was really sad, tragic. Mm -hmm. It was a good way to end the last episode. I wouldn't add anything to that. So I'm happy I got to see this scene after. You know, not with the episode. As for the funeral, though, I would have liked to keep maybe that speech he did on top of the well, the grave. Do you know what I think? I think that a, his speech might be good to keep, but not the create the maniac face at all, because <laughs> I preferred that at the end of the series. Yeah, that's because the, Everything built up to that moment when he finally lose it. That's the thing. When I saw him bend over that grave, <laughs> yeah, that he was one. so yeah. He looked so crazy, and he looked ugly too. And that's the thing. Light never looks ugly yeah. until the end yeah. when he loses it. He loses his mask of purity of and and his uh, manipulator he looks, persona. He lost his glamour, guys. Yeah. And it's crazy to see him <laughs> suddenly... Him again. It's crazy to see him suddenly go so ugly and so twisted and just screaming out. And it's true that to see him do that with, uh, after Elle's death, like at mid-season, it's a bit early, but it might also be great foreshadowing to what's gonna happen in the future. Well, I would have maybe see him lose this is cool a bit, but not yeah. become bent over the grave and said, I want, bastard! We, we got to see him go back to his persona of Kira right after, so we were like, he's got the potential to go crazy. Yeah, but he went a bit too far in my taste. I mean, that a, scene. Elle died, it's a huge thing that happened, so... <laughs> <laughs> and 
anyway, I mean, they took it. At, they took the scene out. So I mean, I'm glad we got to see it though. So thank you guys so much for telling us about this scene and uh, requesting the, the the reaction. I'm happy I saw it. I just, it's, it's nice because I've never seen the part where, well, the part, the part where Ryuk is talking to Shinigami Light. I, I, I've I didn't never know. seen it. I knew about the funeral scene. I'm like, I, I saw it on YouTube. Like the uh, thumbnail was uh, scrolling, and I saw. I, I know you guys have been talking about this. I had no idea we were gonna see this at the end. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> you know, when I saw like a Ryu writing stuff, and I recognized the shots from the last episode. I was like, is this like foreshadowing to what's happening? Like, are we seeing glimpses of the last episode without knowing at the time it was supposed to be the last episode? And then I saw him sitting there and talking to Light and we saw the name and I was like, it's not foreshadowing, they're straight up telling us about the ending. So well, that, that's when I thought maybe it's a cutscene from the last episode, but uh, it's still very good like to see these scenes. Now we know what might have happened, what what is probably happening now in his life and... Such a good show, guys. It's a very, very good show. I'm sad we we ended it. I'm gonna go watch the live actions now because I'm really, really into this. Those were great. Oh yeah. Anyway, I did Netflix one. <laughs> no. Thank you guys so much for watching Death Note with us. If you want to see the new show we're gonna have right after this, we're gonna see you next Tuesday with episode one. So yeah, see that's you it with Death week, Note. Guys. Bye.